got the block back from being chemically cleaned and I've got it sitting up here in the in the press or we'll use the press to to press in the cam bearings. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to talk about before we got started with that and that was how critical it is to line up the oil passages in the cam bearing. There are two of them, one slot, one round hole with the oil passages in the cam, journal, uh, cam bearing journals here in the, in the block. This is the rear of the engine, and this particular bearing receives its oil from the crankshaft through a short passage drilled to the camshaft journal here, and then oils the camshaft, and then the oil passes from there on up through the block, through the head gasket to the head to oil the valve train. So it's very critical that we don't block off that passage or we'll have no oil to our valve train. To install it, I've, I've used a, a, a bushing press, bearing press uh, assembly with two small discs on it, one that fits the inside bore of the bearing, like so, and the other one that catches the top lip of the bearing but also passes just down inside the bore in the block. This allows me to position the cam bearing exactly where I want it. This one will be, be pushed past the top lip of, the, of, of this uh, bore right here, down in till it becomes flush with the uh, oil passages down inside. The other critical part of this particular uh, journal is the plug. There's a, it's nothing more than a freeze plug, a common freeze plug, but it's sized to fit this journal. So you put in the bearing, then you press in this with some sealer on it, and it prevents the oil from the camshaft here of pouring into the clutch housing. So you'd have a massive oil leak into the clutch housing and uh, that would be a, a real mess and, and it caused low oil pressure. Now to install the bearing, we want to put a little bit of oil on the outside and the inside. Very carefully line up our oil passages in our bearing with our oil passages in the block. And I've marked with a with a, a marking pin exactly where those passages are down inside. I've marked it up on top here so that I can, I can line up my holes very carefully and when I press it down I won't miss the oil passages and, and uh, plug them off. Use our installer, slip it inside Center it so that it starts down into the bore straight. Turn on the press. Need to go just a little bit further for the oil passages to be completely lined up. It's best to stop and check just a little bit before you get all the way in so that uh, you don't go past.
The bearings down inside and the oil passages, both the one here coming from the crankshaft and the one on this side going up to the top of the block here are lined up. So, the, so we'll have good function here. Our next step is to install this uh, is to install this plug to prevent the oil from coming into the clutch housing. Now I used a press to install the cam bearings on this particular block and uh, on the top one I was able to use a short extension, extension on the, uh, the discs that I used to install it. On the middle one I had to use an, a longer extension to get down into the depth of the block. So I just wanted to tell you about how that, that middle one was installed. Secondly, I wanted to talk, tell you that uh, this is not the only way to install cam bearings. The, there are commercially built uh, cam bearing installers that have uh, fixtures like this to hold the bearing and then a threaded assembly and a washer that uh, would, you would be able to turn from here and actually draw the bearing into the bore. Um, I chose to use the press method on this one. It uh, works good for me, does not distort the bearing so there's no uh, resizing of bearings to do. Camshaft uh, fits in with very little uh, manipulation of the of the bearing surface. So, just a just a just a couple of ways to install bearings, and uh, this one seems this one works well for me, so that's why I use it. To install the uh, the plug at the back of the uh, cam bearing bore, it's a good idea to put something on the uh, surface of the plug provide just a little extra insurance of a good seal. Just spread the sealant uniformly on the surface. Slip it into the bore and then a tight fit is what is needed so we'll press here and here and then run it down tight with the press. We've got our plug installed in the back and a nice layer of, of sealant that uh, forced out as it was pressed in. I like to leave that on there, it just prevents the uh, oil from coming out and makes a really nice seal. That's it for cam bearings, cam plug. The next thing would be in this uh, particular area would be to install the camshaft and make sure that it, it spins freely inside the bearings. Um, and uh, we'll do that when we get the engine, engine back up on the engine stand.